lightning suddenly killed more than 300 reindeer and scientists are stunned Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring the bell for more on a regular day anybody visiting this Norwegian National Park would undoubtedly have been met with indescribably beautiful scenery but in late August 2016 the place was more like something from a horror movie yes the usually magnificent park had been turned into a graveyard littered with reindeer corpses as far as the eye could see the sinister pictures of the mass animal deaths made public by the Norwegian Environment Agency NEA on August 28 2016 have astounded the scientific community indeed more than 300 dead deer lay strewn across the plateau and experts say they've never seen anything like it it took place in Norway's central southern Hardanger Vita National Park which is a popular recreation spot for both tourists and locals although the mountain plateau boasts 2,500 square miles of usually placid and beautiful scenery this eerie sight of death is enough to send people running for the hills so what was it that stopped the hearts of 323 animals on the mountain that day strangely the cause of the reindeer death is rooted in nature in fact the NEA believes that animals died during the previous Friday storm and the most likely culprit was a lightning strike although animal death due to lightning strikes is not uncommon the sheer numbers involved here are unprecedented we've never experienced such numbers before this is very large NEA spokesperson Carton Knutson told CNN the Norwegian Nature Inspectorate NNI attributed the high death toll to the reindeers herd instincts they were lying there dead in a fairly concentrated area reindeer are pack animals and are often close together spokesman Newt Nyland of NNI explained to the Norwegian news agency during a heavy thunderstorm they may have gathered even closer together out of fear we don't know if it was one or more lightning strikes that would only be speculation during the events news coverage on CNN the media's weather expert and meteorologist Chad Myers filled in another piece of the puzzle the lightning struck the highest part of the land and then we've got the ground current it wasn't that they were all touching each other and they got shocked he explained when the lightning hit the ground or more specifically hit the water in the ground the water in the ground conducted the electricity it got into their hooves into their legs and likely stopped their hearts the same thing happens to humans but if you give them CPR you get them back the plateau doesn't see many visitors due to its isolated location but since the park is in the middle of reindeer hunting season inspectors were in the area when they found the corpses Newton revealed that five reindeer were still breathing when the devastation was discovered but sadly they couldn't be saved initially the cause of deaths was only suspected we set up a team of eight people to take samples to be sent to the Norwegian Veterinary Institute for research then we'll know for sure how the animals died Nyland said but a lightning strike has now been all but confirmed as the answer the NEA took further samples from the dead deer but speaking to CNN Newton said it was just for research he explained we know they were killed by lightning but this testing is for science what's more since dead deer aren't usually removed officials were at a loss over how to treat the corpses Newton said because the corpses were in such large numbers the agency had considered moving them but they're far enough away from the tourist trails and water sources that they won't pose a health risk according to NEA's Eric Lund we have no plans to bring animals out of the plateau Lund told broadcaster NRK so on August 28 2016 a team of officials were sent up in the mountains to the site where they removed the heads of the adult reindeer to access brain tissue for scientific sampling later the Norwegian Veterinary Institute confirmed that no diseases were responsible for the animals deaths the disturbing images may have been caused by a perfectly natural storm but the thought of stumbling across a plateau of 300 rotting beheaded reindeer is still a haunting one let's hope no lost or inquisitive tourists find them before nature takes its due course of the 323 reindeer killed in total sadly 70 of them were calves according to the NEA it's a huge loss of life though the numbers could have been much higher according to the Norwegian Wild Reindeer Center Hardinger Vita has the largest population of reindeer in the country estimated to be somewhere between 10 and 11,000 what's more while lightning strikes on animals are not well documented it's more common than people realize 
According to Brent McRoberts from Texas A&M University, 80% of all accidental livestock death are caused by lightning. Unless there's a barn nearby, livestock are out in the open during thunderstorms, so their chances of being hit are greater, he explained. Indeed, the day after Norway's reindeer devastation, 19 cows were struck and killed by a single lightning bolt in Texas. All of a sudden, a lightning bolt came down and the cows just fell, an eyewitness told KLTV. And they weren't the only lightning-related cattle deaths in 2015. In South Dakota, for example, 21 cows died when they were around a metal feeding bin that got struck by lightning. Still, the Norwegian strike is one of the most deadly on record, yet no one knows if it was indeed a single bolt or if more were involved. Nevertheless, to put the numbers involved here into perspective, the most cows ever struck dead by a single lightning bolt is 68, according to Guinness World Records. Unfortunately, there have also been many human fatalities attributed to lightning storms. Most shockingly, in 1971, a bolt hit a Peruvian airline, Flight 508, killing 91 people. It was a tragic loss of life, but further death was prevented by German passenger Julian Capecchi, who managed to seek help from nearby local villagers. Today, planes have engineered safety features to prevent such catastrophes. Stories of lightning strikes may sound like they belong in disaster movies, but they're very real and a testament to the shocking power of nature. If you're ever caught in a lightning storm, don't use an umbrella or a cell phone. Stay away from trees and get indoors as soon as possible. It may just save your life.